right now. The first step is to unpack your Roadmaster Active Suspension Kit. Look through. They've got a great set of instructions. Read them top to bottom before you start. According to the instructions, first thing that's going to go on the truck, once the uh, spring U-bolt nuts are loose, okay, is this bracket right here. They will install it up there. Here you go, pal. Okay. Now, here's where it goes. What I've done here is I've taken the U-bolts loose. As you can see, i got those loose. There's a plate right here. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take my plate now, slide it through like so, bring it down, put on our springs center locating bolt just like that, and put our plate down like so. Now all I have to do is go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, that takes care of that. Hey, welcome back to Crank and Crow. Well, I got our U-bolts all tight here. I got our bracket mounted in here. We're just about ready to go. Next step now is to go ahead and install our Roadmaster suspension. You got that, Sam? All right, before I go ahead and put it all together for Dave, I wanted to show you what this system is going to look like when it's all together underneath the truck. Got this bracket, got our tension spring, our adjusting rod, and the bracket that clips over the spring shackle. This is what it's going to look like all assembled. When you take it out of the box, you're going to find you've got your tension spring. We've got this threaded rod that's going to slide through here. I put a little lube there, okay? And we've got this conical washer, and that fits down inside there like that. Then we've got two nuts. This is going to be like a jam nut. We'll put this nut on here like so. When we put these on, we're going to have about a half inch of thread showing right there. Then we're going to take into this end of the tension spring, which Dave is going to have up there in the truck. We're going to go about an inch, about 25 millimeters, about where my thumb is. We're going to screw the spring on like so. And once we have that in about, uh, like I said, about an inch or so, all right, then these nuts will run down there and we make our adjustment. We'll be able to use that as a uh, jam nut and hold it in place. Now we're ready for our active suspension. You got that, Sam? You're all set up, pal. All right, let me go ahead and slide this up here. Slide it like so. Now hooks right over that rear shackle. Slide this up. And I go ahead and put in my bolt. Want some help with these stands, pal? Not a bad idea. All right, let's get that boy out of here. There you go, Sam. I got it. Thanks, Sam. Okay, now we got the axle down and it's being unsupported again. Now we can go ahead and adjust our active suspension. Now to do that, we'll use this an Allen wrench, put it right here in the end of this bolt, and we'll put a wrench right up here on our jam nut. Now here's what you do. Slide in here like so, slide that up, and now all we do is we just put preload this spring. Now it'll take a little bit, but what you want to do is just keep running it up, and you do this until you can slide a quarter in between the coils. At that point, then the spring is preloaded. Give it a check here and see just about where we are. I'm going to take my quarter. What that is is a measure of about 564 or 2 millimeters. For us, quarter is close enough. All right, let me go ahead, get my Allen wrench out of here, take my two jam nuts, I'll tighten those up, and I've got this one done. Okay. Hey, it takes care of that, Sam. That went in pretty easy, did it? It sure did. That's a nice piece. You know, if you just follow the instructions, take your time, do it step by step, there's nothing to it. And the Roadmaster Action Suspension, by the way, is available not only for pickup trucks like this, but also it's available for sport utilities, vans, all kinds of vehicles like this. Oh, it sure is. The nice thing about it, though, it allows your truck or your sport utility to ride comfortably, yet it gives you that extra support when you need it. That's right. This is a half-ton pickup truck. It's a 1500 series. These are real soft springs in here, and this thing rides nice, rides like a car, until you load it and start working it. Then it doesn't handle very well, it gets unstable, okay? Now you can go ahead and, you know how we used to do it, put an extra the spring. Leaf spring in the thing, yeah. That's right, and that'll take care of it, but it'll ride like a buckboard when it's empty. So, <clears throat> that's why they call this active suspension. When the truck is light, you don't even know it's there. When you start to uh, put a trailer on the back of the hitch with a lot of tongue weight, I'll tell you what, that loads it if you throw a lot in the bed. This is when the Roadmaster Active Suspension comes into play and really give you the stable the stability you need 
makes it corner nice and flat. Really makes it handle good. Well, it sure does. You know, for you guys <clears> who have the sport utilities and you know how people drive, they drive them pretty aggressively. Sure. They get a little tail happy when you're getting into some S turns and this type of thing. This will really flatten it out, cause that back end to stick real well. Right. Works real nice. Because a lot of them are four-wheel drive and they're top heavy. Another uh, benefit you can get from this, it'll help to eliminate uh, wheel hop. That's where when you apply the torque, the wheels want to twist and load the springs up. This will help reduce that tremendously. All right, now what I'm doing here is I've taken the rear wheel off of our truck here. What this is, this is a Ford F-250 uh, three-quarter ton pickup truck. This is really a construction type of truck. It's got a, a Power Stroke V8 diesel engine in it. Believe me, these guys will run this plate thing everywhere and they'll load it to the hilt. But what we've done is we put an active suspension on it. This way it'll help support the springs a little bit more so when they load it down, it'll handle a lot better. Now here's what it looks like. This is it right here. This is the... Uh, uh, Roadmaster active suspension. We put these on before. This is a little bit different. This is a heavier duty unit for these three quarter and one ton trucks. Now here's what the difference is. This is the spring we used before on some other trucks. You can see the, uh, the spring for this particular vehicle is a lot heavier. Now it's, well now what this will do is it'll help prevent the axle from wrapping up. You don't get any wheel hop with it. You don't get any bottoming out with it as well. But it gives that spring extra support when you load that truck down. Plus, it makes the truck li ride a lot easier. You don't have that harsh ride with it. And it handles a lot nicer, especially if you're towing with it. This is guaranteed for life, so it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good product. We've got one on the other side. Now, a good tip for you is when you install something like this, what we did is checked it out to make sure everything was working right. I like to bring it back in, pull the wheel off, check all the nuts and bolts, make sure they're nice and tight before we send it out, because once this gets on the job site, we'll probably never see this again. Check Roadmaster out at ActiveSuspension.com.